What is up everyone? In the last video of the year, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on something I'm using all the time in Golang, and that is the Bytes Buffer. It's amazing. It's a Swiss Army knife, and I'm using this all the time, especially in testing, and, and it's just amazing, and you should know it, right? Before we continue, if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider this as the last day of the year to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comment, and jump into the Discord community. Let's go. All right, so basically, Bytes Buffer, let's do a quick, quick, quick um, introduction to this thing. So let's say we have a buff, and... Um, What's going on here? Big fonts, big problems, right? So we have a buffer, and uh, this is going to be a new bytes buffer, right? And what, what can we do with this buffer? Very simple, we can actually fill the buffer with whatever we want, right? We could do, uh, I think, a write is for writing bytes to this thing, right? We could say, uh, write me, I don't know, foo. We can also do a write string, right? Write string to this thing. Uh, for example, bar. And then we could say fmt uh, println, some, some, some nice utility functions, buff, for example, what is the length of this buffer? And of course, uh, what is basically the, the string? What, what, what's in this buffer in, as a string representation? Something like that. We can do go run main.go and we can see all that stuff into the terminal. <coughs> yeah, and I was basically a little bit absent the past uh, six days. I had the flu and I still need to cough like I'm dying, but it's okay. I'm probably staying alive. So that's basically Bytes Buffer. Bytes Buffer. And um, why is this interesting? Well, and you can do a lot of stuff with this. You need to play around with it. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Just, just, just toy around with it. It will trigger your dopamine levels much more than uh, me doing it for you. So basically, let's delete this. So for example... Um, let's make some 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 use case, right? For example, we have um, write to connection, write to connection a function in our application, and we that takes in an, uh, a connection, which is a netcon, right? And we're gonna write some uh, message to it. It's gonna be a slice of bytes, and we're gonna return an error as usual, right? And how would we implement this? This is all demonstration code, right? So if you're coming from Reddit, and you think you're gonna be fancy and smart. And to comment some things, think about think about it twice because this is basically just a demonstrational code to teach you something, right? All right. So basically, uh, we have a netcom. Uh, this byte thingy. We're gonna say underscore hash is going to be uh, C, which is a connection, and we're gonna say write this message, and then we're gonna return the error. Right? Very simple. The problem is if we have this write to connection thing. The question rather is. How are we going? How are we going to test that, right? Because if we wanna, if we wanna test it here, for example, R is going to be um, right to connection. Let's say this is in, in, is in a test file. Of course, we are not in a test file, but just use your imagination. <coughs> oh boy, how are we gonna do that? Well, we can't, right? We can, but then we need this connection here. That's the problem. This connection is a dependency we don't like. Why? Well, let's let's take a look, right? So this netcom is an interface. And it, it has a read, right? It's a reader, it's a writer, it's a closer. It has a local adder, a remote adder. It has a set deadline, a set read deadline, and a set write deadline. Are we going to implement all of this shenanigans for our tests? Probably not. Why? Because we don't need them. So that's a big problem. How can we fix that? Well, we can fix that by taking a step back. It's very important sometimes if you write functions and you want to test them and you see this probably most of the time is going to be a problem to test them then you need to take a step back simplify them right so instead of saying write to connection and you will see what what a bytes buffer is going to to do in this in, in this game so you're going to say write to connection you could say write to and we could do something like um w and instead of a connection you're going to say it's going to be an io writer Right, an IO writer, just like that. And then we're gonna say W write. It's gonna it's going to be the same thing, right? But right now, you're gonna say write to. And now we need a writer, and that's where the bytes buffer comes into play, right? So we're gonna say buff is going to be. Because if we are gonna write to a connection or something, if you wanna write to something, we wanna test 
if the thing we actually want, the bytes we want to write, wrote, writ, I don't know what the correct verb is for that, is exactly the thing we want, right? That's very important to test. Otherwise, it, it doesn't make any, any sense. So we're going to say buffer is going to be a new uh, bytes buffer, right? And then we're going to put the buffer inside of write2. Uh, and of course, a message. We're going to say the message is going to be, I don't know, uh, Happy New Year, maybe? New Year. Boom. With, that, with fireworks and everything. So we're going to say if R, and the R is not uh, null. And uh, this way of error handling is something we are 100% sure is going to stay the exact same thing next year, right? So, and then we're going to say here, uh, log fatal or something, or a panic. It doesn't really matter. R. And um, then we have this buffer here. We are writing into the buffer. Happy New Year. So then what you could do is uh, FMT. Uh, we're going to say println. And we're going to say buff. And let's do string so we know. So we can actually read this as a human. right? So let's do go run main.go. And we see Happy New Year. So <coughs> you can see that we basically refactored this a little bit. Um, so instead of, instead of giving this a right to connection and give it a plain connection into it, which will need to satisfy a lot of stuff, uh, we just made it a writer. And now you could say, but yeah, but, but a writer is not a connection. It is, right? Because if you want to use this, you can use this in your tests and use a simple bytes buffer to test if it's actually working as intended. But you can also use this write too in your uh, production code and just put a connection into it because a connection is also a writer, right? A connection is also a writer. So it's going to work perfectly out of the bat. But there is a problem. Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say that we, uh, man, <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm still <coughs> coughing out my lungs from time to time. Hey, take, you need to take that to the team. So basically, um, Let's say we, we, a connection needs to be closed after an error, for example, right? So let's say that if there is an error here, right? If error is not null, for example. We're going to return the error, that's for sure. But we also, actually what we could do is, um, we could do something like, let's do it here. Let's do it here. So we have this buffer here. And um, the reason, uh, we have an error right here. So what we want to do basically here is, is close. It's close this thing. Right? Because even though it's not a connection, it's not a closer, most of the time in, in our application, it will be one. But it is not one. Right? So what we need to do here is make sure that our buffer, this buffer guy here, implements a close function. So we can use our tests in a more, um, how do you say that, in a more realistic way, right? So how can we do that? Well, we could do something like, um, it's going to be a bytes. Closing buffer. I don't know. I'm just trying to, to come up with, with these things so you guys know what you can do. It, this is not uh, something you, you need to directly copy, but it's giving you some kind of an idea that um, you can construct all these things to your likings. Right? That's that's the, the main point to, to, to take away in this, right? Because most of the time, is, is are you going to do this in a prediction environment? <coughs> Man, probably not, right? Probably not the exact same way, but it's very important to experiment with this so you can think more out of the box if you need to solve a problem sometime. Because if you don't do this, you will not trigger your your uh, your creativity enough, right? If you know what I mean. Very important. Bytes. What is this? A by <coughs> oh man, a bytes closing buffer. So what we're gonna say? We're gonna give a pointer to this bytes buffer. And we're also going to say we need an um, I.O. closer. That's what I want, right? So we're doing uh, some, uh, basically some composability, right? So we are embedding 
a point to a bytes buffer, but we're also embedding an interface, right? So what we're going to say here is we're going to say func new bytes closing buffer, which doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Uh, new bytes closing buffer. We're going to return a bytes closing buffer. And we're going to we're going to return. <coughs> oh, God damn it, man. We're going to return this bytes closing buffer thingy. We're going to say that the buffer is going to be a new bytes a buffer and that's going to be it just like that and then in this case instead of making this new bytes buffer we are going to we are going to say it's going to be a new this guy and then what you could do here is you could say actually you could do a defer you could say buff close right Defer buff close and then uh, call this thing. Right, it's gonna work. Why? Because it's gonna work the exact same thing. Uh, what we could do here is actually implement a close place. So we're gonna say func. Let's do it here. It's gonna be func. Uh, we're gonna call this a b. A pointer to this uh, bytes closing shenanigans. Hop. We're gonna call this function close. It's return an error. Just like that, and we're gonna say uh, uh, return null. Actually, what we could do to see if it's working is fmt println uh, closing. Closing. Just like that. Boom. Go run main dot go. Boom. So you see, <coughs> it's worked perfectly. It's 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 work. It works perfectly as intended. It's calling close at the end of the function. Okay. So one more thing we need to do to make this actually a little bit better is this function, right? This write2 takes a writer. Um, the problem is that I don't want to close it maybe here. Maybe I want to close it here. Some decision you need to make. If you want to close it here, we cannot use a writer because a writer does not close. Unless we call this a write closer. And it's all good. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. A right closer. So we can make it a right closer. And uh, because um, this bytes closing buffer is a bytes buffer, which basically means it's a writer. And it's also a closer, which means it's a right closer. So we can use it, right? So instead of uh, doing here this close thingy, we could say here defer w. And we can make this actually a wc from right closer, right? WC close, just like that. And um, do go run a main.go. Boom. And it works perfectly the same. Um, although we can first see closing and then happy new year. That's because um, we are closing this in this in this function here, right? In this write to function, we're gonna close this, and then after we have written, we're gonna print it out, which basically means that the writer is already being closed. But it doesn't matter, right? So uh, yes, that's basically it. It's it's a very um, cool practice to do to play around with all these things and to see how you can come up with your own types, which are basically composed out of other types, um, so so they can work in a more coherent way without uh, needing without needing you to shoot yourself in the foot by implementing the complete netcon interface in your tests and all that stuff, right? So, uh, of course, is this going to be some stuff you're gonna 10 out of 10 copy-paste uh, into production? Probably not, but I can swear to God, I'm using all this, this stuff basically on a day-to-day -day basis. It's very important to know all these kind of tricks and trips, ticks and trips, trips, ticks, man, it's, too, med too much medication, tips and tricks, uh, enable to, to in your day-to-day -day job. Very important if you want to level up as a high-value software engineer. If you like the videos I'm providing to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and leave some questions in the comments and jump into my Discord community. And I wish you, your family, all your friends, a fucking happy new year. See you next year. Bye-bye.